Hello everyone. In this section, we are going to discuss what is client-side JavaScript, a bit of history about JavaScript, and how JavaScript is needed in a web page. JavaScript was created by Brendan Eich in 1995. JavaScript is client-side scripting language. Let's understand the requirement of client-side scripting with practical world example. When you open a website in a browser, you normally see that the site is opened and a page is delivered in the browser. Or you can say at client side. For example, we type amazon.com. The site name you have typed here, this is called as the address bar. This is the place where you type the site name or you can say the domain name. So google.com, amazon.com, wikipedia.org, etc. are domain names. All these websites are residing on server in a specific location. And domain name is the named address of this location. So when you type the domain name, the site content is received or delivered on your device. Now let's look at this page. You can see that it has the header section, footer section, products displayed in some format. Here each product is having a dedicated card view. If you think of the page structure, then HTML is used to create the structure. That is defining sections, placing images, putting entry fields, etc. Even when you see a page like this, the structure is made using HTML, but the formatting is given by CSS. Let's try to cancel the CSS settings from developer tool or let's remove the CSS from coding. Now as you can see that just the elements are displayed and there is no formatting applied. So on a web page, HTML defines the structure and CSS is for beautification. Let's go back to amazon.com again. Now we know that HTML and CSS can show a good web page, but this page is a static page. Assume that here when you type a product, you want to search. It means the page is not static. It does not only display the information, but it also communicates with the end user, like taking input, performing validations of values, etc. So when you need a web page, which is communicating with the end user, it means you need programming. This programming is done by most commonly used scripting language called JavaScript. So here when you type the product name and click on search button, or maybe when you press enter, JavaScript is executed. So HTML and CSS will make static pages, but by including JavaScript, the web page becomes dynamic. So when the client machine receives a dynamic page, it contains HTML, CSS and JavaScript, but that is in the text format. So HTML and CSS and of course JavaScript, which is received as text, it is compiled and executed in the browser. So under this user interface, browser has several modules or software modules, which we call as engines. The two most commonly used terms with reference to engines are rendering engine and JavaScript engine. Let's talk about rendering engine first. A 
Rendering engine is also sometimes called as the web browser or the layout engine. The job of rendering engine is to lay out or draw the page in the browser. That means HTML, CSS, XML, images, shapes or designing in the browser window is displayed by these software modules called rendering engines. So the paint job of a page is done by rendering engines. Before the final painting, the rendering engine parses HTML and builds the DOM tree. The DOM tree is hierarchical collection of HTML elements also called nodes. We will have a dedicated detailed discussion of DOM tree, but apparently it looks like this. Once the HTML document parsing is done, the CSS parser is executed which formats or applies the designing. After that, the layout or placement of elements takes place and then the painting of page is done. This is the kind of execution happens by rendering engine. Various browsers use different rendering engines. Google Chrome and Opera are using Blink. Mozilla uses Jacko. Safari, Blackberry, Chrome before version 28 uses WebKit. Opera before version 14 uses Presto. And Internet Explorer uses Trident. So Blink, Jacko, WebKit, Presto and Trident are few rendering engines used by famous browsers. In short, rendering engines or layout engines do the job of HTML, CSS parsing, building of DOM tree and painting the page for the end user. So rendering engine creates the user interface. Now let's discuss about the JavaScript engine. JavaScript engine is a software module and part of browser which takes care of JavaScript execution in the browser. Of course, nowadays JavaScript engines are also used separately. For example, Node.js uses V8 engine separately from browser as well. But at the moment, we are discussing with reference to browser. So this module takes care of running the JavaScript embedded with HTML pages in the browser. The JavaScript engine takes care of JavaScript code execution on the fly. In traditional approach, you find that program is converted in binary code, maybe .exe or any other executable format. This does not happen with JavaScript or HTML and CSS. It is the JIT that is just in time compilation and there is no binary code generated. So the text which is received is compiled by the browser and displayed immediately. Whatever code client device has that is executed in the browser itself. And that is the reason why it is called the client side scripting as it runs on the client machine or device. The available JavaScript engines used by various browsers are V8 used by Google Chrome. Mozilla uses SpiderMonkey which is the first JavaScript engine and used in Netscape Navigator. Safari uses JavaScript core also known as Nitro and Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer uses Chakra. So JavaScript engine is also part of browser, but that takes care of the JavaScript execution. Of course, after the introduction of Node.js, JavaScript also works on server, but that is a different topic and not in the scope of this discussion. So in the very early stage of web development, when this kind of dynamic web page functionality was needed, the client-side scripting was introduced. There were many client-side scripts, 
but javascript has evolved as one of the most used scripting language javascript was known as live script but at that time java was very famous language so to take an advantage of the name live script became javascript to become popular quickly in the present scenario javascript runs everywhere that is on client server mobile and every type of device and the development is not limited to only client side you can make server side programs mobile apps iot apps desktop application and much more using javascript so it is really important to know javascript as it gives you a good and wide career options as a developer